Yes, guys, what's going on? It is Specimen here, and this weekend is Gwent World Masters number one. It was supposed to happen a year ago. It was postponed because of COVID, but it's finally here. And with all big CDPR events, there is an opportunity to get your hands on lots of free resources as a result. First and foremost, if you watch the official CDPR broadcast, which starts on Saturday at 4 p.m. CEST, uh, same time on the Sunday as well, if you watch four hours, you're going to get this Beholder title. Not a massive fan of titles. I've got my Temerian one and my Pella one now, so I don't really change it up. However, I do love a card back. And this is a Care Morhen card back. So if you watch for at least eight hours, you're going to receive a card back. All you need to do is link your Twitch account with your GOG account. Uh, there's um, some quite clear instructions on how to do that on this page, which you'll find in the description. So yeah, just watch eight hours on the official broadcast. There will be people rebroadcasting. I probably will be doing something similar myself. But if you want the, ca the card back, you have to be watching the official channel. There's a few ways you can work around that, of course. If you wanted to watch somebody doing some sort of watch party, like rebroadcasting re the event, then you would just have both streams open. Uh, so yeah. That's step one. Watch the event for eight hours. Get yourself a juicy card back. Now, Meteorite Powder, the most important resource for me in Gwent. I still don't have a full premium collection. I've been playing for a very long time. An expansion just around the corner is the perfect time to get your hands on more Meteorite Powder for free. And there is a Divination Challenge. A Divination Challenge is a bracket prediction where the brackets out for you. You're going to guess each result of the game. Try and make the perfect bracket. And for every single perfect prediction you get correct, so the winner and score, so let's say you predict that Tailbot beats Life Coach 3-0, and that happens, you will get yourself 50 powder. Okay, now if you get the correct predictions of every winner of all matchups, you're going to get 800 powder. So that's if you get the complete bracket correct, winners and losers. Okay, you're not going to get the score perfectly every game, but if you say Tailbot wins and Collarbone wins and Game King wins, etc., and you get it all spot on, you get 800 powder. Amazing. But then... The absolute creme of the crop. The creme of the crop. Is that a word? I don't know. Somebody's going to roast me in the comments, I'm sure. Uh, for the perfect prediction, every winner and score of all matchups, you get your hands on. Rad Radovid Africa skin. You get the Wraith skin, the Unseen Elder Dark Blood armor skin. And most importantly, not only do you get all the Meteorite Powder awards, you also get the absolute juiced crystal ball border. This is a unique border for only this challenge. I don't believe anybody has got their hands on this as of yet because nobody got it spot on in the first Divination challenge. But you go into every game and people know you're an absolute baller. People know you're some sort of wizard. So great incentive to get your hands on that particularly just giving this a go though you're going to almost be guaranteed to get at least 50 powder but surely more surely more i'm going to be doing two predictions now where i'm going to show you what i personally think uh the results are going to be and then i'm also going to do one where i show you probably the odds on favorites so if you just want statistically the best result if you just want to go for the favorites then I i'll be sharing with you what i think who I think the favourites are. I watch a lot of Gwent Esports, so I'm obviously in quite a good position to make some informed decisions. But bear in mind, I'm not going to probably get it spot on. Now, the first one I'm going to do is just going to be my own divination challenge I'm going to do for fun uh, and what I think is going to happen. So we're starting off the day with Life Coach versus Tailbot. Of course, Tailbot, the massive favourite in this one. Life Coach recently coming back to Gwent. However, it's important to remember that Gwent is played in a conquest format. What that means is each player takes four decks and ban uh, one deck of their opponents. You have to win with each then of your three remaining decks in order to win 3-0 or 3-1 or 3-2. So let's say you bring one deck and it absolutely sucks and you can't win with that deck, you're going to be in trouble. This also becomes very important because if Life Coach or Magpie or whoever it might be has decided before the tournament that they're going to target a specific deck, for example, they might say, okay, I'm not going to let Araka Swarm through, I'm going to put Lambert in every single deck. So if my opponent plays Araka Swarm, they might get two wins, but they're not going to get that third win and I'm going to win 3-2. So if I was Life Coach in his position as someone that's not played the game as much compared to these other people in recent years, I would be probably taking some sort of hard target strategy, which means... Now, remember, this is my for fun one. I'm going to say Tailbot's going to go 2 0 up, but then Life Coach is going to come back and 3 2 him. Listen, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the odds on favourite, but it could happen, all right? And this is just my personal one I'm doing for some fun, all right? Next up, Magpie versus Colomon. Now, if I'm Colomon, 
Honestly, the person I would least like to face in the opening round. Okay, you could argue Tailbot, but honestly, Magpie. Magpie is just such an unknown quantity. Very, very well known in the community for bringing some very spicy, unique decks. He is, of course, the man behind the Keltalis deck that you still see on ladder many, many months afterwards. He brought that to a qualifier. Colomon, as well as Tailbot, has got to be one of the favorites up on this upper side of the bracket. I'm going to give this one Magpie 1, Colomon 3. I think Colomon's going to come out on top. Obviously, my fanboy my fanboyisms my my the fact i'm a fanboy for life coach is just creeping through i would love to see him do well i also am a big fanboy of tailbot i have to say but um yeah i'm gonna go for the german semi-final color one versus life coach okay third semi-final game king versus adzikov probably two of the people that are being overlooked most uh from this tournament adzikov i know has uh tweeted out saying that he thinks people it's kind of surprising that not many people are picking him for this uh game king somebody that has done very very well on ladder uh, in previous years hasn't been playing the game as much recently adzikov falls into the same bracket but admittedly early this year when maddock came out he did make a very popular bomb he for scoyatel um maddock deck so adzikov game king i'm gonna give it to adzikov three one okay demo versus freddy Two people I would love to have seen avoid each other in the opening round. I do know them both pretty reasonably well. Um, Damo's interviewed me and Freddy, I know, because he's from the UK. I played Valheim and Among Us and lots of other things uh, like that with him. Uh, I'm going to go for Damo is going to be taken out 3-0 by Freddy Babe. Sorry, Damo. I really wish you all the best of luck. But I'm going to... This is my personal one. I'm going for Freddy Babe's 3 at Damo O. Okay, the semi-final. Colomon is going to take it 3-0. Life coach's strategy of Lambert in every single deck. He's even got Gimpy Gerwin. He's got all of that. Has uh, done him well to beat Tailbot. It's got him into the semi-final, but Colomon is not touching that AQ. He doesn't want to go near it. Uh, he's already beaten Magpie, who had a similar lineup. Uh, he's, Magpie maybe has gone all Lambert as well. We don't know yet. Uh, but I think Colomon, uh, if Life Coach does manage to somehow get through Tailbot, it's going to be a real struggle to him to get to the final uh, with Colomon in his stead as well. So, yeah, I'm going to go for Colomon 3 0 in the semi final. Up next, Adzikov versus Throw Babes. Adzikov, a fantastic player. Somebody I've played against myself actually in one of the top 64 qualifiers uh, earlier this year. I actually did come out victorious. It was my first ever win I had in a qualifiers. And for that reason, uh, I'm going to go Freddy Babes 3, Adzikov 0. That's not the reason. Freddy, yeah. Freddy in the final as well. Obviously, Freddy's just going to win the whole thing. Jobs as good. And this is the one I'm going for. But what is the best odds? The odds on favorite. What are the most likely results? Let's have a look. So, there's lots of lots and lots of 3-2s in Gwen. And the reason for that is that the, the level of play at the top of Gwen is so high that often there's not much in it. It can just come down to a single deck. If you manage to win a certain matchup, when you shouldn't have that's when 3-0s can start happening. But if the most likely outcomes happen in each matchup, let's say both players play each game perfectly, there's a 60% chance one deck wins. You know, players can kind of work out how the series are going to go and often 3-2 is the most likely. However, I'm going to go for the most likely odds on favourite is Tailbot to win over Life Coach 3-0. Tailbot's been there before, he's done it before. He's probably likely to have some very spicy decks while trying to avoid this uh, hard target, like bringing decks like Iraq, Swarm, etc. I could just see him avoiding completely because he might think he can just outplay everybody else at the tournament. Magpie versus Colomon. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised at all to see Magpie cause some sort of an upset. I think 3-1 to Colomon seems probably like the most reasonable uh, and logical outcome. You might want to go for a 3-0, a 3-2 as well, but Colomon has to be the favorite in this one. If you're looking to hedge your bets and go for the most likely opportunity, probably a 3-1 to Colomon sounds about right. Azikov versus Game King. Man, the slower side of the bracket, really, really difficult to call. Uh, I think... Based on the fact that Adzikov had some really good scores earlier on in the season, he's probably, you know, maybe the favourite. Having said that, Game King, I just think how much he has been at the top of the ladder in previous years. I don't know. It's a really tough one. I'm going to go 3-2 either way. I'm going to go for 3-2 to Adzikov, I think. I think because he's part of TA, I think Game King more likely prepped on his own or with a, a smaller group of people. Adzikov... I imagine would have been prepping with people like uh, Colomon and Damo. I think I'm just going to give him the edge because of that reason. But I do wish uh, Game King all the best. Really tough one to call that. And Damo versus Freddy Babes. Um, that's going to be 3-0 to Freddy Babes. 
Okay, uh, sorry, Damo, mate. I feel so... Damo, I really love you, mate. I really wish you all the best. Damo, guys, performed fantastically well against Payabol at the Grand World Cup this weekend. He was part of Team Germany that came second. Uh, in the final match, he lost 3-1 to Payabol, but it was so nearly uh, going to Game 5. Just a few a few small errors from Damo. Maybe just like... Um, I would just put them down to silly mistakes based on the fact he's not been playing the game as much recently. He's been working super hard to get back into it. The fact he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Payabol shows Damo is no joke. So again, you might want to pick Damo on this one, but uh, I've just got something that's telling me Freddy's going to take it. Okay, the, the big semi-final, Tailbot versus Colomon. Uh, I'm going to go for Tailbot 3, Colomon 2. Again, Colomon uh, could easily win the whole thing, but Tailbot has to be the favourite on paper, just based off the fact he won the previous Open. Uh, Adzikov versus Freddy Babes. I'm going to go for Adzikov 2, Freddy Babes 3. And the final, I'm going to go for Tailbot 2, Freddy Babes. Uh, Tailbot 3, Freddy Babes 2. So I'm not completely biased. Again, you can tell that my bias is still creeping through by getting Freddy to the final. Uh, Damo is such a fantastic opponent. I would expect whoever, like the favorite of Damo or Freddy is probably the favorite to make it to the final. But Game King, Adzikov, no mugs. Magpie as well, I could definitely see doing well. But odds on, uh, certainly this top side of the bracket is the most likely. The lower side is really, really difficult to call. Uh, I think you could easily pick any of these four people to get through to the final. Hope you guys enjoy the event. If you, again, want to watch with me, I'm going to be doing some watch parties on my stream, but make sure you've got the CDPR channel open as well to get your hands on the Care Morhon card back. Good luck getting some powder. Again, if you want to join more discussion around Gwent Masters, make sure you join my Discord channel below where there is going to be a channel dedicated to chatting about Gwent Masters. I do hope you enjoy the video and make sure you like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Super close to 10,000 and good luck in the Divination Challenge. And come on, Freddy Babes. Let's flip in do this. Goodbye.